Welcome back, everybody. Derek Sue, your East Oakland advocate. Well, in my last episode, I spoke about my cruise ship Oakland Middle Harbor program and what that will do uh, for the housing right here in Oakland. It, it, it will change the dynamics of the housing market here in Oakland because there is an option for people to choose, a viable and a very good option for people to choose and also to actually own, own their place of residence permanently and, and don't have to worry about the rent going up. You don't have to worry about uh, evictions, uh, so to speak, unless you really break the law. But once you buy it, it's pretty much yours uh, unless you really break the law. And, and this is a housing pro um, uh, um, program that resolves the current situation here in Oakland where this gives you the power back instead of all the power being with the landlords and the property managers. This gives you, you know, an option, a, a very good option. Uh, but also, this is just the start if you elect me your next Oakland mayor. That, like I said, the EIFD, Enhanced Infrastructure Funding District, also covers the next project. And the next project, uh, a lot of a lot of you folks uh, here in Oakland have really hated Highway 980, especially the corridor that goes through uh, downtown Oakland. And I also, my family has history with that, and, and I didn't like uh, the the 980, but for a different reason, because it stole my family's generational wealth when the eminent domain forced my uh, grandfather on my father's side to forfeit his home. Uh, he was compensated only $25,000 uh, for the home when the average home price here in Oakland at the time was between forty dollars and $50,000. So uh, they stole half the wealth, then they stole the property. And, and so some of you want to just shut down the 980, Highway 980. I myself said, no, we're going to continue having that because of the sacrifices of those families that gave up uh, generational wealth. And that would be an insult by closing down Highway 980. That would be an insult to all of those families. And, and uh, so I don't want to do that. But I, what I do want to do is build over the top of it and create new community land trusts. Again, this will be uh, a joint venture between the city of Oakland, Alameda County, and state of California for this particular project. And in it will also involve the federal government because it is part of the federal highway uh, system. And the other thing that we're going to be uh, looking at to help fund this is Pete Buttigieg came here back in 22, 2022, saw this and heard the problem and he heard the community and pledged $980 million to help with the project. But yet Sheng Tao and the city council have done absolutely nothing. And that's why I support a recall on all of the city council and I am supporting the recall on Mayor Shang Tao because she is just plain stupid and shouldn't have been in the job to begin with. And so anyway, getting back to Highway 980, the EIFD also includes a provision for building cap, putting a, a cap over the top of Highway 980 and then reclaiming that space as community land trust. What we want to do with that is create housing. And that's the second part of the housing project that uh, I have uh, plan scheduled and planned for that particular site. And that will add back 2,500 single family homes to the neighborhood. And then on top of that, 
Uh, it also creates an opportunity for a downtown, uptown uh, transit center, a new transit center underneath, uh, which is on top of 980, but below the new housing community. And so we're uh, multitasking the area and, and uh, squeezing in a lot of uh, uh, amenities and, and a, a new transit uh, station, uh, centralized transit system would be extremely helpful for the area. But also what this does is the third part of what I have promised you here in Oakland, new jobs, new living wage jobs. Both of these projects will create 25,000 new jobs, 25,000 new living wage jobs here in the Oakland area. And that's been the biggest uh, problem that Oakland has had. They haven't had much construction. They haven't had much job growth. Uh, and, and that's why the crime is out of hand. And so by creating new, new long-term uh, jobs, living wage jobs, and, and also this provides a program for those coming out of incarceration to help them keep from repeating their past uh, offenses. And, and this gives them an opportunity where their past will not haunt them because these are job opportunities for those coming out of incarceration, number one, for job training to uh, work in the maritime maintenance industry. Maritime maintenance industry, meaning that all of those cruise ships out in Middle Harbor, they're going to need maintenance. They're going to need people to help uh, keep things uh, neat, clean, safe, and in operational order uh, to perform tests. So these are all job opportunities for everybody here in Oakland to uh, learn a new skill, to also live where you work, an opportunity to live where you work and be debt free. Because uh, remember, most of the uh, the cabins, uh, or all of the cabins on these ships, are priced between five thousand dollars to one hundred forty-nine thousand dollars total. And for those of you that want to finance, there's a finance a program up to twelve years, which is a standard uh, a boating uh, uh, purchase and, and and the terms. And so with the small amount of money you can easily easily afford uh, one of the uh, cruise ship cabins and then because you're you're debt free because your housing is, is now all paid for you can afford to feed yourself and so on board we have uh, created the uh, community where shopping entertainment everything is right there at your fingertips along with all your services like dentistry, your health care, everything else. So everything is in one place and you can walk everything. If you think about it, if we we have six ships in the harbor, you have six different communities to visit and shop and explore. And these are all closed environments. So number one, every one of them has a security detail. and. Maritime security details are very different from land-based security um, teams, but they still operate very similar. They still have, can arrest you, and the penalties for um, committing crimes on board a ship are much more severe than they are on land because that's just the way uh, maritime law operates. And because uh, these... Uh, ships operate under maritime law and not uh, just uh, the land-based uh, Oakland laws. Oakland-based uh, uh, laws will still apply, but the maritime laws uh, take precedence because they are much more severe. The penalties are much more severe. And, and so there's going to be a lot less tolerance for violence, theft, and, and anything else aboard these ships. 
and along the properties uh, because uh, the Port of Oakland is patrolled by the Port of Oakland uh, security 24 seven. And they are always out there. If you go down to a Port of Oakland anywhere in the evening, it is flooded with security. And so <clears throat> the Oakland Middle Harbor District will become one of Oakland's safest districts of all time because of the amount of security, the quick reaction times of the 911 teams on board, the security teams, medical teams, and fire teams that are on board those ships. But getting back to uh, Highway 980, we create a new transit center for BART, for Caltrain, and for uh, AC Transit and, and all of the transit agencies. Up, up. And this will be centralized in uptown Oakland. On top of that is uh, creation for uh, community land trust uh, and parks. And so that's what we're we're going to be putting in into those. Uh, and this alleviates a lot of the uh, housing issues uh, and the housing shortages uh, that are that were uh, irrationally created through Costa Hawkins, uh, which is Prop 33. And I hope you folks here in California vote uh, for uh, rent control uh, on Prop 33. And all Prop 33 does, it does uh, in the advertisings uh, that say no on 33, they are flat out lying to you. Everything on that ad is a lie because if you actually read Prop 33, it is the repealment of Prop 33, which caused massive homelessness. And that started in 1995 with the passage of that in California. And that was the start date, the launch date of homelessness in California. And the reason why I say that, I worked for one of the big three that is backing this particular uh, proposition for no. And, and if you look at who is uh, backing uh, no on 33, those are all the, the major uh, property management companies in the United States. They hold, have a stranglehold on housing. And so, of course, if uh, Costa Hawkins is repealed, all of their advantages to uh, raise your um, rent and your lease prices constantly goes out the door because um, they can't do what they're doing currently because Costa Hawkins protects them. And so that's why I am in support of yes on 33 and no on 42 or no on 34. 34 is a revenge uh, proposition against the AIDS Foundation, which has been the major, the major funding and the thorn in the side of uh, all of these realtors uh, that are lying to you about Prop 33. So um, I will create 25, at least 25,000 new jobs, which will stay in place because the need uh, for construction, iron workers, uh, electricians, plumbers, uh, everything, all the skilled laborers will be, will be necessary. This also will help uh, the schools and colleges with teaching those skills, those important skills for the trades. And that's where our, our next uh, growth in Oakland will come from. And it won't be so much a, a land expansion, but we will have a population expansion. And, and that's one of the, the big things uh, that Oakland and Alameda County haven't seen growth from Oakland. These are projects that will absolutely turn the uh, tide of everything here in Oakland and make Oakland one of the most desirable places to, to be. It'll be a place for tourism because all of the new interest, renewed interest in these cruise ship uh, uh, with all sorts of entertainment and fun restaurants that are waterside at that 
you just don't get. And, and if you get seasick on boats and ships, just imagine going on this and you don't leave the dock. It's always there. So you're not going to get seasick, but you can still get the feel of a cruise ship without having to take a cruise. And it didn't cost you a fortune. So 25,000 plus new jobs here in Oakland an additional 2500 homes along the 9 on the uh, 980 corridor 14400 new housing units in Oakland Middle Harbor that's just with the six ships if we get up to all 10 ships maximum capacity we're looking at over 24000 nearly 25000 new housing and 100% affordable units. So that's uh, a good layout. Hopefully that, that uh, gives you some insight as to my vision for the city of Oakland if I were to become your mayor in the next year. Thanks for joining me today. Let's get things rolling.